Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, platelet aggregation test. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, uh, you can visit my website. The link for the website is just below this video in the description. So you can click that link to visit the website. Uh, now I come to the topic. Uh, what is platelet aggre uh, aggregation test? Well, a platelet aggregation test, uh, it checks uh, uh, how well your platelets clump together. And the platelets are the types of the blood cells and uh, they help to form blood clots by sticking together. And a clot is what stops the bleeding uh, when you have a wound or an injury and without platelets you could bleed to death so these are very important vital parts of the blood now a platelet aggregation test requires a blood sample and the sample will be examined to see how the platelets are distributed throughout the plasma and the sample will be examined to see uh, to our, in the in, in the lab, you know. So the plasma is the liquid uh, in the blood. So it's the liquid part of the blood. And a lab technician will add certain chemicals uh, to your blood sample. And the purpose of these chemicals is to test how quickly your platelets form a clot. And this test may also uh, be called as, or the alternative name is like. Uh, uh, aggregometry test or the platelet aggregation assay. So these are the alternative names used for uh, this test. Uh, your doctor may order this test uh, if you are experiencing the symptoms of bleeding disorders or low platelet count. And the symptoms uh, may include excessive bleeding, excessive bruising, uh, bleeding from the nose or from the gums. Uh, excessive menstrual bleeding or blood in the urine or blood in the stool. So in that case your doctor may order this test. Uh, or if you have a family history of bleeding disorder, you know, or bleeding problems. So the results of the test can help your doctor to figure out the cause of bleeding problems and uh, it can also be helpful to diagnose uh, uh, autoimmune disorder such as uh, lupus, uh, genetic disorders, uh, uh, medication side effects like uh, that affect the platelet formation and uh, uh, degradation of fibrin and uh, which is an important uh, clotting protein you know and uh, myeloproliferative disorders which are cause the blood cells to overgrow and uremia you know, which is a condition caused by the kidney failure. So in that case, your doctor, if he suspects, he may order this test. Now, the next thing is how to prepare this test. Well, unless you are you are told, otherwise you can eat and drink before this test. So there's no special care uh, required. And you should schedule it at any time during the day, unless your doctor specifies otherwise and your you shouldn't exercise 20 minutes before the test. So a number of medications can affect the results uh, and inform your doctor if you are taking any kind of the medications like over-the-counter medications or the prescription medications and your doctor will tell you if you should stop taking those medications especially the blood thinning medications you know uh, they can interfere with the results and the medications that can interfere uh, are like the non steroidal delayant inflammatory drugs blood thinning medications like aspirin, antibiotics like penicillin, uh, cephalosporins uh, and other uh, and uh, tricyclic antidepressants, uh, anti drugs and uh, uh, the medications which are used to uh, relax the airway muscles like uh, theophylines you know so they can inter they can interfere with the results so you should tell your doctor if you are taking any kind of these medications. Well, a platelet uh, aggregation test requires a blood sample and the sample may be taken at any doctor's office or in a, um, a medical lab, you know. 
And to begin with, the technician uh, will put you a uh, put on the gloves, clean the area uh, uh, around your vein, and uh, blood is drawn from the vein on the inside of the elbow or maybe back of the hand. So there is no there is a, is a small um, procedure, you know. So uh, there are no complications which are associated with uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, procedure of uh, to draw the blood uh, except from a little pain and uh, discomfort or maybe a little bit bruising maybe infection you know in extreme rare cases but mostly it's safe uh, the blood tests are considered a low risk procedures uh, and uh, there are no major complications and if uh, you know you have a bleeding problem uh, tell your technician so they can be prepared you know uh, it's very important uh, uh, so they have all the preparations to deal with any kind of emergency you know to stop the bleeding uh, you should also inform the technician if uh, you have experienced dizziness or fainting or any nausea during the previous blood tests so tell your doctor and the possible risks of the blood draw may include multiple puncture wounds if it's hard to find the vein uh, feeling lightheadedness uh, excessive bleeding, hematoma, which means a collection of the blood under the skin, and the infection at the side of the needle, uh, needle stick. You know, so you know you should call to your doctor to set up an appointment if you are experiencing excessive bleeding or bruising and other signs of bleeding disorders, and uh, your doctor can assess your symptoms and determine if the treatment is. Uh, in order you know and if your doctor decides you need a platelet ag aggregation test uh, be sure to tell them what medications you are currently taking at the moment and this can prevent uh, unwanted interactions and uh, any uh, may eliminate the possibility of uh, excessive bleeding uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com Thank you and goodbye.